So it looks like everybody's starting to settle down with the new kitty in the house. She's feeling more at ease, not going and trying to hide. <clears throat> Even though the puppy dogs are close. Keone's even closer. Keone just sits and watches her. Every move. Why have you let the enemy in my house? Sergeant, you're a funny puppy dog. Shall we you know show that, right? the people the great deal we found this week? This week, the great deal was this sirloin steaks, two and a half pound package. Uh, and normally it's like $16.99 for this package. Uh, they are outdated. And while I was walking around the store, just looking to see what kind of deals I might be able to find, I saw this and they were asking $2.99. See there, the date is February 14th and we're into May now. So they just really wanted to get rid of it. And just because it's past date, I wasn't worried about it because it is in the freezer section. So it's been frozen. It's not a big deal to me that it's that far past the date. Um, this is not something that I normally buy, but you can't even buy hamburger for $2.99 a pound. And I got two and a quarter pounds for $2.99. So yes, I, I stocked up on these. I ended up getting a total of six of them. So this is one of the times where just walking around the store up and down each aisle and just looking for signs that um, or price tags that catch my eye where they're trying to tell you that this is on sale and they're trying to clearing it up. Um, you know, that's that's what this was is it was a uh, on sale price tag and for when $2.99 popped up, it caught my eye. So, so I'm gonna update my remarks. So I just opened a package up and they're individually packaged just like this. So I'm gonna say that there's three meals in each one of the boxes because there's three of these packages in each box. But still three meals for Pretty much a dollar a meal. That's a, that's a really good deal, especially at today's meat prices. That's, that's, a, that's a crazy good deal, and I have no problem uh, using this after its Best Buy date because I can leave it frozen in my freezer for up to a year. I, I would still feel safe with using it, and I'm sure that me and Kara will use this up before that year is up anyway and then i was able to buy find some good stuff at fred meyer uh, these 64 ounce containers of peanut butter and i know they're the kroger brand but i've had it before and uh it's not bad peanut butter i'm not i'm not too picky when it comes to peanut butter or jelly the kroger jelly so these <clears throat> were $4.99, which is way better for 64 ounces, which is way better than the uh, 40, what is it, $7.99 for 40 ounces at uh, most of the time. That's usually the price. <clears throat> and then I was able to get the uh, jelly for $1.99 each, which... That used to be the regular price a few years ago, and uh, now that is the sale price. But uh, I just filled in the what we have used lately. We've used a little bit of the uh, 
peanut butter up that we have stored up. So I, I am replacing it with this. And the same thing with the jelly. I usually like to make my own jelly, but grape jelly, if I were to take, take the grape juice to make the jelly, uh, I might as well just buy this $1.99 uh, jelly already made. It's just cheaper that way. So I know I haven't been doing a whole lot of the uh, shopping videos or the dollar day prep videos or uh, showing like the ways that I save money very much lately. And a lot of that has to do with the fact that I just haven't been shopping. Um, we just, we're using up some of the food that we have stockpiled already. Um, and... Unless I can find it on sale, I just, I'm not buying it. And you don't want to see the same stuff uh, over and over, you know. I'm buying macaroni noodles or I'm getting spaghetti sauce or, you know, I, I don't want to just keep piling that stuff into my house. I want to uh, get stuff as I can use it. And that's what I've been doing is just filling in the gaps of what we're using for the most part and then you know buying hamburger when it's marked down or or buying butter when it's on sale and stuff like that but most of the time when i'm shopping anymore uh if it's not on sale if it's not a good price on sale i just don't buy it i don't need to uh just continue to buy stuff just to sh make a video i only want to buy stuff that i need and am going to use and I recommend that that's what you do too if if you do the dollar a day prep uh, like some of my previous videos and you build up enough of a stockpile you don't have to worry about going to the grocery store all the time little spruce grouse is on the tree but he's gonna hop off before I can get the camera turned around I have a little short clip I'll, I'll show you. Yeah. You survived winter, and that's a good thing, huh? Yep, yep, it wasn't too bad this year, was it? A little bit of snow, quite a bit of snow, but once you got past the snow, it was all right. But, you know, uh, my, my best advice would be, you know, don't stalk out of fear. Don't let people scare you. Don't, don't, don't. Um, so much fear in this world. You know, I, I, I see the, the uh, clickbait. Buy this before it's gone. And it, it, those things just irritate me. The, the clickbait on the thumbnails or whatever you want to call it. Uh, they just irritate me for, you know, like... The world's ending! You need to get your food now before it's all gone! Your dollar's no good! And, yeah, I mean, I kind of feel that way. But I don't really want to push it on my channel. Disappointing. We need to get our supplies in order, um, but we don't need to do it in fear. We should always, I mean, we should always, and I have, I've always lived my life this way where I had extra food in the house all the time. I never had a time where I didn't, uh, that I wasn't prepared to some degree because I've always shopped the sales. And I always buy enough to make it to the next sale. You know, that's that's my goal. That's my plan. And uh, it seems to work for me. Yeah. A little bit of milling today. I've got one of the flower beds milled up. I'll show you that really quick. 
I didn't take any video of actually milling, but I'll show you that. So there we go. Now that's just three sides and they're birch logs, four inches thick with one live edge. And I will let them decide if they want to peel the bark off. I personally would, I think it looks better with it peeled off, but I'll let them decide. But yep, that's what I was busy doing today for the most part. Get you a full picture. So most of those eight to 10 foot long logs And they're just small diameter, so they, they cut into a four inch thick and uh, they'll get piled up and made into a very tall, gonna be 70 inches tall um, garden bed. And I'll be making three of them if I can come up with enough logs. I have another option for them, but I want them to come over and look at it and see if they like the looks of it. So. And Marissa's truck is over here because her driveway is shut down. And there's the pile of slab wood that gets generated one day of milling. Oh my goodness. Good firewood though. I'll be getting that cut up into firewood and under cover so it'll have all summer to uh, finish drying out. One job usually turns into another job, seems like for me. That's okay though. I need the firewood and I need that build that I need to stock up on my firewood this year. So that's just a real quick update on some of the deals I found this week and what I've been up to today. Um, I did see my first garage sale sign, but it was later in the afternoon and I just decided that <clears throat> I wasn't quite ready to uh, bring more stuff home. I need to find some room around this place because it's getting pretty full. But anyway, first garage sale sign. That means garage sale season is upon us. Let's see what I can find this year. I have been saving the money so that I can be out there on the hunt. I want to thank you for watching this edition of Not So Remote Alaska. And until next time, may God bless and keep each and every one of you. And with that, I am out.